Nawi Sail was born on July 2nd at around 6.38 a.m. A beautiful Sunday morning here in Lisbon. Similar to a baby birth, you cannot really predict the exact time and dates of the magic moment. We actually spent a lot of time conceiving this project, preparing everything. But at the last few days, right before it came out to the world, there were too many surprises and last minute exogenous factors that made it impossible to know when exactly the project will be launched. Therefore, well, I guess, maybe certain events really should happen naturally. Just like babies, this project was born following the flow. In this video, we want to share with you how spectacular was this July 2nd. By pure coincidence or not, this day couldn't better illustrate the DNA of this channel. So what happened? The day before a friend of mine that I know since kindergarten, he called me and he asked my help to take his powerboat from winter mooring to the summer mooring. It's a logistic event that happens every year. We need two cars because we will drive the two cars to the summer mooring, then take one car to the winter mooring, then take the boat from the winter to the summer mooring, and then the first car will drive back to the winter mooring and we have two cars to come back home. That was the first part of this day. The second part, it happened that also the previous day on Saturday, my friend Sue, that we know since college, we met in college, she called me because she was flying to Dubai and her fly will stop in Lisbon for transit where she will have to change planes and she will have to wait seven hours. Well, by looking at all these events happening, I decided to make something different that goes with the spirit of this project. I decided to keep quiet and make a surprise to everybody. My plan was to take Sue from the airport, drive to Setubal, which is the winter storage, and surprise her with the event of going around in the powerboat in a beautiful river, in a beautiful bay, while she was on transit, making it the title of this episode, the best airport lounge in the world. At the same time, my friend that has the boat, he was surprised to see her and we had a beautiful day taking the boat, taking care of the cars and pleasing everybody. Well, there's only one question. Did we have enough time for this whole adventure? Would I manage to take Sue back to the Emirates airline on time? Or will she miss the plane and we'll just have another crazy day going around, rescheduling flights and everything? Hope you enjoyed the movie. Let's see how it goes. to Stubal and we need to find a cafe we come to this one but it's more of a bar for drinks it's 9 10 a.m. we're not going to have drinks at this moment we need to find a cafe to buy some croissants with ham and cheese and stuff like that to bring to the boat so we have food on the boat while we take the boat from Setubal here into Habida that's the project for today uh, the south of Europe obviously is all about coffee We got some food at back there full of ham and cheese sandwiches, croissants, and I don't know what. This is Stubo. 
is the cafe where we stop. She agrees everything is delicious. Hi. Sue is, is almost about to miss the plane, but not yet. Still have two hours. There's a box. Are you, can you open this, please? And a few pastries for the boat, because you never know if you're gonna run out of food. There's no restaurant in the middle of the river. It just happened that old time friend, my sister Sue, came to visit today in the morning. About the, the time she arrived home, that's exactly when the first video was uploaded. And now. Perfect timing! Now she was complaining she already ate too much. I had like seven <coughs> bakeries in two hours. No, and Bernard got me more. And no, that was for this me. Is <laughs> this is the best. It's um, Portuguese toast. It's just the bread and butter, but the thing is, the bread is super delicious. I wanted to have that to eat on the way to the dock, and now I'm we're driving gonna, and filming, and she's eating everything. We're gonna eat more in the boat. <laughs> yeah, the boat is just normal pastries, <laughs> yeah. not a, a delicious toast. <laughs> she's uh, not a cookie monster, but toast, toast monster. You monster. Drink water. It's the airbag or something. No, 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 no. This is the best toast ever. I, I mean, every time I see Bernard, even in Korea, we go to bakery. Yeah. Oh, wow, what happened wow. here on the road? Uh, we still fit. What is Portuguese croissant? The boat is launched on the water and we're gonna drive it to, to its uh, place where it's gonna stay for the summer. This is how we start the journey. A little bit of a desert beach here. One boat, oh, two boats, and, uh, and ourselves. This is only maximum 40 minutes from Lisbon. Yeah, this paradise from a major European city. <clears throat> Almost a throw stone away. It's our boat, we're taking to a cabin. <laughs> there are the pastries. Our lunch and our dining room for today. Getting the most out of life, doing all cool things. We hope you enjoy as much as we do. Now the biggest trick here in this video, on this day, was to guarantee that Sue could be back to the airport on time. Because fetching someone from the airport, stealing someone from the lounge for an alternative lounge, or taking someone away from the wonders of duty free, into simple things. It is a bit of a challenge. It's a big responsibility. And um, we still defy and try to do it. Anything. We are lucky to be here in Portugal, it's an interesting country, it's beautiful as you can see from this video, it's a lot of uh, hidden spots, it's a lot to enjoy. On this day, we did a little bit of travel by land and sea. The airport is in Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. 
the power boat is in Setubo was in Setubo in the winter storage which is about 30 to 40 minutes drive from Lisbon from the Lisbon airport the summer mooring is in Arrabida it happens to be a UNESCO protected zone it's a beautiful natural park it's very restricted in terms of cars and boats but they still keep a few bays where you can anchor or just use the moorings the roads are narrow they get crowded with cars everybody wants to go there for to enjoy the summer to enjoy the beautiful scenery and the beach and crystal clean waters so doing making this natural park and beauty into a lounge was a challenge exciting challenge because we have to to keep in mind we had a responsibility to return a customer to the airlines we had to drive among all these cars uh, still managed to stop somewhere and grab some food well the only thing is you don't get the tax-free items but then again who cares there's so much more it was a beautiful day I'm sure I know that nobody forgot this day nobody forgot the moments the beauty the shining Sun and the airline company they never imagined what happened all they got is their client back, the customer back, with the messy hair and a big smile. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Cheers.